You're back, I see. How could I not? You're standing in my light. So tell me, how did you do? Well, good for you. But don't get too full of your accomplishments just yet. That was a fairly easy contract I started you with. Come back when you're ready for more. If the speaker or the matron give an order, though, that takes priority. Loudmouth fanatics! It's time to teach them a lesson about the blessings of silence! Enough. I'll decide how we respond to these malign sermons. Initiate, I have a task for you. Once again, the pious idiots of Kavach dare to provoke the anger of the Dark Brotherhood. Such an insult cannot be allowed to stand unchallenged. As if the Grand Sermonizer didn't have enough vices to rage about, now she's preaching against the Brotherhood. She says we are weak, powerless, a toothless dragon that inspires ridicule instead of fear. These lies must be silenced. Permanently. Be wary. The Order of the Hour has increased its presence in Kavach. Avoid the warrior priests if you can. Meet up with Tanik and silence the priests that speak against us, including the Grand Sermonizer. That will put the fear of Sithis in them. Tanik will meet you in Kavach. I expect the two of you to deal with the Grand Sermonizer and show the people of that hypocritical city the real power of the Dark Brotherhood. The Grand Sermonizer and her priests spread lies about the Brotherhood for reasons I do not yet understand. Whether she seeks to insult us or acts upon some misguided tenet of faith, our response is clear. These impudent priests must die. She's one of the ranking priests at the Cathedral of Kavach, right below Primate Artorius in the hierarchy. She won't be easy to find, however. Killing her subordinates may draw her out. Otherwise, rely on Tanik to locate the hole she's hiding in. Primate Artorius leads the Cathedral of Akatosh in Kavach. The chanters and sermonizers bow to his authority as the chosen of the Dragon God, and even the Order of the Hour follows his commands. Pious and faithful, I find the man to be insufferable. Caution becomes the appropriate response after the deaths of two assassins, Initiate. But make no mistake, I expect you to assassinate the Grand Sermonizer. Tanik will be there to provide assistance, nothing more. Under normal circumstances, no. These recent attacks against us, however, have made circumstances far from normal. Concentrate on the Grand Sermonizer. That's your primary mission. The common folk fear us. The political leaders tolerate us. And everyone who needs someone dead and can pay the cost hires us without hesitation. Our reputation remains strong. But these attacks by the sermonizers... They're obviously up to something. It could be anything. Certainly Primate Artorius and his priests have little love for the Brotherhood. I wonder... Does the Cathedral plan to outlaw the Black Sacrament? Would they dare such an action? Regardless, these sermons are bad for business. Initiate, I have my own contract in Kvetch. I'll join you in Tanik as soon as I'm finished. Three blades on the same contract? Is that wise, Matron? Just make sure the Grand Sermonizer dies, Initiate. That's my chief concern.
I was wondering how long it would take you to get here. Didn't Astara instill you with a sense of urgency about this mission? She must be getting tender-hearted after all these years. Yes, I say so. I find life to be a complicated series of pranks and pratfalls. Besides, this is your mission. I'm only here to observe and offer assistance if you get in over your head. Speaking of which, try not to get captured or killed today. No, that would be boring. You start murdering the sermonizer's priests while I take on the real challenge. I'll locate her hiding spot. Then I'll find you so we can kill her together. <laughs> that will put the fear of the Brotherhood in the Kavach people. Be stealthy or slaughter everyone that gets in your way. Whichever works best for you. They all wind up with Sithis in the end, so what's the worry? Now, let's get out there and deal with the Grand Sermonizer and her lying priests. Time to dip our daggers in Sermonizer blood. Watch your back, New Blade. There's a hidden evil corrupting Vatch. These villains are cowards, hiding in the shadows. Our quarry cowers in her family's estate outside Kvatch. I'll meet you there, New Blade. And if you really want to impress the matron, kill a few more sermonizers along the way.
are toothless dragons. Powerless! Fight! Hold there, you lowborn cur. I'm getting something going. No order of the hour? Huh. Follow me, New Blade. Our quarry stirs below. Grand Sermonizer, have you discovered the location of the Sanctuary yet? Unfortunately, this assassin expired before revealing anything useful. I'll capture another. Try not to kill this one before we learn the location of the Dark Brotherhood's lair.
Lord Akatosh, hear our prayer. Let me just prepare the body, like so. Who is that black armored warrior? Some kind of mercenary? Now's our chance. Follow me. She tortured Simbar. Such an insult to the family cannot stand. At least he knew how to hold his tongue. What foul magic is this? Newblade, beware of I feel so weak. I, I can't move. Two assassins. This is... unexpected, but I refuse to die here. I'm just gonna sit here and see who comes for me first. Sithis or Tall Papa? Tarnik, are you planning to just lay down and die? They knew we'd come for Simba. Trapped his body with some kind of foul death magic. Get up, you milk drinker! Sithis still has work for you to do. Initiate! The Grand Sermonizer is yours. I'll get Tonic home. Defend me, Knights of the Order of the Hour! Show this assassin the true power of Akatosh! Trust in Akatosh! Let the Dragon God guide your strikes! I'll need to use something harsher than words to deal with you. The Black Lord Act.
Kor brought Tanik home injured but alive. He told me you went after the Grand Sermonizer. Tell me, has the deed been done? Simbar was one of our best. To allow himself to be captured like that. I didn't think that either the Grand Sermonizer or the Order of the Hour was capable of such a feat. Why go to all that trouble, I wonder? Black Armor. I've heard rumors of such a warrior. But to seek the location of our sanctuary. It appears we're at war with an unknown adversary. I need to think about this. By the way, Tanik woke up and asked to see you. A good showing, slaying the Grand Sermonizer. A pity Simba paid for his failure with his life. Keep your blades sharp and your wits sharper. Otherwise, we may see a similar end to your story. Even so, I have recorded it all. For posterity, of course. I never question the matron, although it is strange for her to so hastily send multiple brethren to deal with a single target. It is almost as though she knows more than she is telling us. Of course, she almost always does. A good showing, Slag. I felt no particular emotions concerning him whatsoever. Not all of us form attachments so easily. I care about performing my duties under the shadow of Sithis. That includes following the tenants. I aid my brothers and sisters when I can. Beyond that, I'd rather not say. For another time, perhaps. At present, I suggest you focus on your contracts. Take care getting too personal with your brothers and sisters. Attachments can become a... distraction. Simbar's dead. Do you really think I want to talk to you right now? Don't worry, Tanik. A cask of mead, and you'll be back on your feet in no time. Shit, your mead tastes like bee vomit. I think I'll pass. Oh, Tanik, I hate that this happened to you. You worry more than the matron, Hildegard. I'll be as good as new before you know it. Ah, the new blade has arrived. Give us the room if you would, Kor. Certainly, Tanik. But I still expect you to be completing contracts again in a few days. I'll do my best not to disappoint you. Take your time, Tanek. I am going to go say a prayer for your quick recovery. Kor and Hildegard mean well, but they're worse than a couple of mother hens. You're alive. Does that mean the Grand Sermonizer is no longer with us? We're not certain what kind of magic the Grand Sermonizer placed upon Simbar's body. But I'd be dead too, if not for you and Kor. I'm indebted to you both. And I'll make sure that everyone remembers Simbar's bravery. He refused to give up our secret, no matter what the Grand Sermonizer did to him. It does make me wonder about the warrior who was able to defeat him, though. Simbar could easily best me in a fight, and that warrior bested him. If you encounter her again, don't underestimate her skills and abilities. She's hunting the hunters, and that's a game I have no desire to play. A chance to beat your record. How many of the Sermonizer's priests did you murder anyway? Seriously, New Blade, stay sharp out there. The roots of our trouble stretch deep below the soil. Things are gonna get worse, my friend. Mark my words. Don't worry about me. I just 
need to sleep right now. Simbar's dead. Ah, Initiate. I should be more pleased that the Grand Sermonizer is dead. But I can't help feeling that a storm gathers on the horizon. Ela mentioned that the contracts were stacking up. I suspect he'd appreciate your help if you'd be so kind. I can't believe Simbar is dead. Antanik would have met the same fate if not for you. Let me guess. Looking to hear my life story. Hoping we can be fast friends, clasp hands and go on a killing spree. I propose an alternative. Step away from me or we'll need a broom to clean up your remains. Have you come to hear the will of our Night Mother? I do. Our beloved Night Mother has received a petition. The time has come to take a life. Before we proceed, I offer you a challenge. Two, in fact. Consider it a bonus, a chance to demonstrate your skill. If you succeed, I'll reward you. If you fail, so be it. As long as the target dies, the sacrament is fulfilled. Your target awaits in the smuggler's den. It's a damp and torchlit cave, the perfect hiding place for fugitives and witless thugs. You'll be seen as a trespasser there, so if you wish to avoid a bounty, then you should avoid being seen. True followers of Sithis are like wraiths, only visible when they wish to be. Show me that you are a master of stealth. Complete your task without alerting the residents of the smuggler's den to your presence. The work of an assassin demands secrecy, certainly, but also speed. Our knives must strike quickly, decisively. With that in mind, I challenge you to finish your dark work before the tunnel's overseer arrives. It seems that our target has a taste for the fouler things in life. We should give them a taste of their own bitter medicine. Don't you agree? Use poison to kill your prey. I am told that the target has a treasured pet named Lucky. Pathetic sentiment. Our dread father has nothing but scorn for the tamed and the weak. Slay this beast in his name. 
a Khajiit named Abazaka. One of his friends called on us to give Abazaka a scare. I think it has something to do with an escalating war between pranksters. Alas, poor Abazaka, we are not in the business of pranks. Kill The guard better give me a cut of your bounty. After all, you I put can't me believe through. you thought you'd get away with that. Ah, uh, a common criminal.
guard! Intruder! Just pass her! for the guard. You must like being in trouble, or you'd be gone. The chanters mourned the grand sermonizer. Her death struck the fear of the void in their hearts. Tannic mentioned a black dragon was involved. Do we know who that is? None in the sanctuary have heard that name. I'll ask around, quietly. I want the sermonizer's finger bone. When I find the black dragon, I will drive it through her eye. I'll disinter her and recover it. The damage I do to the corpse will leave its own message. <laughs> 